Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. For today's video I've prepared two DIY projects where I will be using Plaster of Paris as a main product. I created a few other decorations using this material on my channel, so I make sure to leave the links to them down below in case you want to check them out as well. I think Plaster of Paris is very interesting to work with and you can create many unique items out of it. I will be creating a vase and a bowl and with that being said let's get right into the first project. For my first project I've picked up this ceramic vase which I bought in thrift store. Of course the size and the shape doesn't matter so you can choose whichever vase you like. Because my vase is glazed and plaster might not stick that well to it, I will be also using this joint tape. I rub the most part of my vase with it. Plastering tape will also prevent the cracks on the plaster of Paris. It's really easy to tape it as one side is sticky. It don't have to be done perfectly as it will be all covered anyway. Only make sure that the tape sticks well to the surface. I live by the sea, so for me it was easier to gather this collection. I've got in here some sea glass in different colors, chipped pieces of old tiles, small stones and selection of few different shells. You might be able to buy similar stuff in craft store or next time when you go on your holidays remember to bring few beach souvenirs with you. I take plastic container and start mixing the plaster powder with water. The ideal ratio for plaster of Paris is two parts of plaster to part of water, but I suggest to follow instructions from your plaster's brand. In this case I want to create quite thicker consistency than usual. I don't want it to be too watery because it will start running down on the vase. I also make small patch at the time as this plaster sets so quickly and I won't have enough time to attach the small bits to it. Make sure there is no lumps and you can start moving plaster onto the vase. You can use some kind of spatula, I'm using my hand for more organic look. And as I said before, I apply plaster only on the small part of vase at the time. And then I start attaching my sea glass, tiles and shells on the wet plaster. Press each piece lightly down, making sure it sticks and won't come off later. I place all the bits in a random irregular design. If there is some part with visible tape, I simply add more plaster. And I carry on with this process all around the vase, putting small amount of plaster at a time. I also put extra plaster at the top to make this vase look like it's fully made out of plaster. To create bowl out of plaster of Paris, you will need two bowls. I'm using this plastic bowl, you won't really damage it so you can repurpose it later. You can use just normal bowls, but I wanted something what will create perfect curved shape without extra edges. In this case, I'm making my plaster more runny than in the previous project. I stir it well to get rid of any lumps and pour it all to half of my bowl. I take the other part and press it outside side into the plaster. I press it down till the edge of the new bowl is about 1 cm thick. To stop the plastic part jumping straight up, I need to place something heavy inside. The weight of this item has to be right to keep the edges about 1 cm thick. I leave it in this position till the plaster sets and dries, which in my case I waited over the night. Next day I gently remove the plastic. Plaster doesn't really stick to the plastic so you don't need any cleaning film or oil to put inside the bowl. 
The surface of the new ball is super smooth. To sand down the edges and lighten in great design, I will be using this tool. It's actually my manicure drill, but I've thought it will work perfect for that. I start with the roller shape end and smooth out the uneven edge. Of course, keeping in mind that plaster is quite fragile, so don't press too hard with your tool. Then I change the end for the pointy one and start creating some pattern on my ball's edge. It's very simple, I do some kind of irregular dots next to each other. Once this is done, I take the dry brush and brush off the dust and the excess plaster. Now it's time to create your design. I recommend to draw it first with the pencil. I'm going with some geometric pattern. You can't really see that well on the camera, but the pencil is actually leaving lines on the plaster. Using the same end what before, I start engraving the pattern I drawn before. At first I do a thin line along the pencil lines. Then I go slightly deeper and wider with this tool. That's how it looks like when all lines are engraved. Next step is to paint it in your favorite colors. I'm going with grey, black, light brown, pink and cream. I'm using acrylic paints and with the thin brush I paint all the surface between the engraved lines. I leave the lines unpainted. If you want, you can also protect it all with some varnish. Going with contrasting colors make the engraved lines more visible. Let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite and if you enjoyed this video and you like these ideas, make sure to give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support and I will see you in my next video.